Unfortunately, a lot of men are married, but they haven't left yet. So mommy, daddy still have some sort of influence on them. But this is God's word. This is God's wisdom. And Jesus said, you want me to be a friend of the family? Obey my commandments. For the sake of the marriage, you leave your father, you leave your mother, and cleave to your wife. A lot of men are having problems with this. Because they cannot break away from their family ties. They can't break away from their parents' apron strange. They are married, but a sis their sister can pick a phone and call the house and say whatever she wants to say. Because she's my, he's my brother. The mother can call and give any instruction because he's my son. Now, if that is the case with any husband, you are in for a struggle in marriage. There is no way you can ever win your wife to your side for her to agree with you on any issue if you haven't left and have, if you haven't cleaved to her. So we're considering the word leave first. Leave, that is, you are totally broken away from every influence of father, mother for the sake of marriage. Now, God knows that with those external influence, you can never have a successful family. God knows it. That is why he said, for this, for this cause, for the cause of marriage, the man must leave. Father and mother, leave father and mother. God was specific. God said father and mother because the person that has the most influence of our lives, on our lives, our, our parents, our biological parents. And the God said, for the sake of marriage, you live. What that means is that God places your relationship with your wife above your relationship with parents. So you leave it. Come out from it. That one was for a period of time. It has expired. Come out. Break away from their influence. Break away from their control. Break away from their hold. If you want to have a successful home, most of the problems we are having in marriages is traceable to the fact that the parents still have some sort of influence on the man. And as long as that is the case, you will never see God in the home. He's a merciful God, so when you cry to him, you, you know, do some things for some things to keep going. But for Jesus to become the friend of the home, the center of the marriage, his word must be adhered, adhered to. Living father and mother. Praise the Lord. I've spoken with a lot of wives who are having problems in their homes. And most of them, that's what they tell me. Pastor, I can't stand it any longer. I can't. My husband and I will decide to do this. The mother will call him and say something. And then he wants us to do what the mother said. I can't stand it. I can't take it anymore. Now, that is a home with a big problem. You are not wiser than God. If you are not ready to marry, don't marry and disturb anybody's daughter. But when you marry as a Christian husband, this is God's word. Leave father, mother. Now, that doesn't mean you don't have anything to do with them. No, what it means is that they don't make decisions for you. They don't influence your life. They don't dictate to you anymore. You are independent of them. Praise the Lord. But you still have to take care of them because they are your family. But they don't decide for you. You don't even, I mean, fine, you can only go to them when maybe you need some sort of counseling and advice on some issues. Fine. But then, they don't make decisions for you as to what you must do. Unfortunately, we have some, some husbands that their, their mother even tells them how they must love their wives. How much money they must give to their wife. The kind of dress they have to allow their wife. And they are following it. And when you talk to them, well, she's my mother, she loves me, I love her. Well, uh, the, the point is that nobody loves more than God. The all-loving God is the one that says, leave your father and your mother. And are you going to tell me you love, you love your parents more than God? Can you lay your life down for them? Can you shed your blood for them? Have you ever seen somebody who's, you know, the mother is sick in the hospital, the doctor said, Oh, your mom is going to die. He goes like, okay, dog, uh, whatever wants to kill my mom, remove it and put it in me. Let me rather die instead of my mom. Have you ever heard anybody say that? So you can't love them more than God. And the loving God is the one that is saying, leave your mother, leave your father. Praise the Lord. So when, if Christian husbands will understand it, it will be very easy for you to win your wife to your side on every issue. Glory be to Jesus. 
Glory be to Jesus. And I see all men having their wives by themselves on every issue in the name of Jesus. So for this cause, for this cause, that is why in 1 Peter 3, 7, he said, Likewise, he has but dwell with them according to knowledge. Dwell with your wife according to knowledge. What is some of the knowledge he's talking about? What we just read. Living, living, living. You have to know that that thing disturbs every wife. It disturbs every wife. If you haven't left, you are disturbing your wife. There are some wives that don't talk, but it doesn't mean they are happy with it. Deep down in them, they are dying gradually. It disturbs every wife. And it is vice versa, you know, because we have some wives too that have not left. You know, here the Bible says, uh, uh, for this reason, the man shall leave the father and mother and be cleaved to the wife. Now, it is vice versa. The woman too must leave the mother and father and be cleaved to the husband. Because the only relationship, or let me say, the relationship in the Bible that God will not place anything about is the relationship of husband and wife. Because that's the only relationship in the Bible that is unto them do as part. Even with your children, it is not unto them do as part. That is why all of us here are not with our parents. You understand? You give birth to their children, no matter how much you love them, a time is going to come, they have to leave. And if they understand the Bible, when they leave, they will leave you. That's, that's the truth. And that is how you must raise your children to understand the Bible, because when my son gets married, I don't expect him to come back to me, or to leave as if I still have control over his life. No! That is God's word. That is the wisdom of God. And so, you don't put your, your relationship with your children above your relationship with your wife. Because the time is coming, they will leave. Whether you like it or not, they will leave. They will have to go. That's God's, God's ordination. They will have to go. So, the only relationship that is unto them do as part is husband and wife relationship. That is why the husband must cherish your relationship with your wife above every relationship i mean apart from your relationship with god the next one that is the most important one in your life is your relationship with your wife glory be to jesus but unfortunately it is not like that in a lot of homes a lot of husbands don't appreciate this they don't they don't adhere to god's word so they are married all right but then you see they, some of them even cherish their relationship with their sisters more than their wives. So they will be doing some things with their sisters and their wives have no clue to it. They will be talking on the phone with their sisters while their wife is coming. Uh, you see the wife walk into the building. Okay, okay, you know, I, I'll call you another time. We'll talk again. And then he hangs up because the wife must not hear what they are talking about. Now, what, what kind of a husband is that? What kind of marriage is that? You know, and when you are doing that, you can pray from morning to night. Jesus will never be a friend of the home. Never. He will not. Because his word must be adhered to. God said, I watch over my word to perform. So when God looks into your life as a husband, does he see a husband that has left father and mother? Or he, still, he sees a husband who is still tied to the strain of father and mother. May God have mercy on us. Amen. I said, may God have mercy on us. Amen. You know, this is so important. Living and cleaving is so important that in, in, in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, we saw God saying, it the same, saying the same thing. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and the two shall be one flesh. So what God said in Genesis, in the book of Mark 10, we see Jesus saying it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that tells you it is very, very important to God. Living and cleaving. Living and cleaving. Living. Until you have left, you can't cleave. To cleave means to be one in everything with your wife. And until you have left your father and mother, you cannot cleave. Because if you are cleaving to your wife, you will never, ever lift her out of any decision you make. You will never go to father, mother, or 